Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights. Last episode, we went through our training and pretty much learned as much as we could about what was going on from the various people, including well, their own opinions on all sorts of things that was that were going on. I you to speak with you. Shut up, I already did. Now that we've learned all of that, it's time to go and graduate. And we'll see Lady Arabeth on the way. Now that you've finished your training, you can go on into the South Assembly Hall if you want. Lady Arabeth is still granting blessings to all the Academy graduates. Can I ask you some questions? Sorry, not while I'm on duty. Besides, you should go on into the Assembly Chamber so you can get your blessing from Lady Arabeth. Of course. In we shall go. There's quite a few people around here. Pleased to see you. Truly, we have reached a great milestone in our lives. Long have I prayed for this day. And Tyr has answered my prayers with a great bounty. A blessing from Lady Arabeth herself. Be certain you speak with her, lest you miss out on receiving your own blessing. Hail to ye! There's whispers around the Academy that Lady Arabeth is just using the graduation as a cover. They say she's really come to the Academy with, with a cure for the Wailing Death. Pretty sneaky for a paladin. So you better stop chatting with me and get up there, or you'll miss out on your blessing. I kind of want to talk with everyone, see what they all have to say. Hi there. Truly, we have reached a great milestone in our lives. Long have I prayed for this day. And Tyr has answered my prayers with a great bounty. A blessing from Lady Arabeth herself. Be certain you speak with her, lest you miss out on receiving your own blessing. I greet you. There's whispers around the Academy that Lady Arabeth is just using the graduation as a cover. They say she's really come to the Academy with a cure for the Wailing Dead. Oh. I have a feeling the rest of these are all the same. Good day. I never thought I'd make it to graduation. I still have nightmares of her been screaming at me during basic training. But the chance to meet Lady Arabeth makes it all worth it in the end. Make sure you get up there. You don't want to miss out on getting your blessing. Yes, what? I hear Lady Arabeth is friends with Kelvin Arumson, the famous Archmage from Waterdeep. Together they're working on a cure for the Wailing Death. It's an honor to meet someone who actually knows Kelvin. You should go speak to Arabeth too, so you can receive a blessing from her hand. Good tidings to ya. Lady Arabeth understands that arcane magic isn't to be feared. She actually respects wizards instead of fearing them, like most of the people in Neverwinter. It's an honor to actually meet someone as famous as Arabeth. You better go speak to her yourself, or you won't receive your blessing. And we can get some loot from here. A gem, which is sellable, and a copper ring, which is also sellable. And a divining pool, which is... This obviously magical pool is filled with an opaque, viscous liquid. The tingle of immense power radiates from the pool, and simply being near it fills you with a sense of divine will. An engraving on the side of the pool explains its purpose. Infused with the essence of a mortal tear itself, the pool of righteous energy will recover any relics lost by those who act in the service of the just god. A small donation to honor tears only might will be appreciated. Basically, if you drop any important items, you can come here and get them back. Very, very useful. If you accidentally drop things that are needed. Anyway, let us speak with Arabeth. Congratulations. Your training here at the Academy is now complete. May the blessing of Tear be upon you. I have been looking forward to meeting you. The instructors here at the Academy speak very highly of your skills. I am Lady Arabeth de Tilmerand. Perhaps after the graduation ceremonies, we can speak in private. Neverwinter can use someone like you. We should arrange to... Wait, what was that? Did you feel it? Brace yourself, we are under attack! We are under attack! Oh, that's not good. Now see what a true warrior looks like! Oh, there goes one. The students are being killed. Attack them before too many are killed. Okay, I think they're all dead. I must speak with you. Good tidings to you. Lash the invaders into dust. Char their bones with, with magic yes, fire. But... Well, we saved some of them. I must Good speak day. with you. The academy is under attack. To arms! To arms! Hi there. Listen to me. There is not much time. I fear this is no random attack we have suffered. As you may already know, a number of creatures were brought from Waterdeep here to the Academy. 
It was believed the reagents for a spell to create a cure could be extracted from them. We tried to keep this information secret, but this attack reveals our secret is well known, even to our enemies. Everyone at the Academy seemed to know about the Waterdavian creatures. Rumors spread more quickly than the plague itself, or so it would seem. But what is done cannot be undone. We must focus on the task at hand. Neverwinter has many enemies. Some declare themselves openly, such as the city of Luskin. Others keep their identities hidden from us, striking from the shadows. I do not know who is behind this attack, but it is obvious they are here to destroy our hope of ending the Wailing Death. You must protect the Water Davian creatures. They must not be allowed to fall into the enemy's hands. Where can I find these creatures, Lady Arabeth? I would take you to the creatures myself if I could. But I fear my presence would make protecting the creatures more difficult, if not impossible. Our attackers appeared here in this room. It is likely their arrival was magically centered on me. They must have assumed I would be with the Water Davian creatures. Even now, our enemy may be watching me through magical means, hoping I will lead them right to where the creatures are kept. I cannot take that risk. You must do this alone. Go back through the hallway leading to this room, and take the corridor to the east. It leads to the chambers where the Water Davian beasts are being kept. I will do as you command, Lady Arabeth. Take this key. It will open the locked east door back in the hallway leading to this room. I will stay here. Hopefully my presence will draw the enemy away from the creatures they seek. Hurry! Make your way into the hall, and then to the chambers down the east corridor. That is where the Water Davian beasts are kept. The fate of Neverwinter depends on you. This key will open the door. May Tyr be with you. Thank you, Lady Arabeth. On we go. And there's What's this. Ha! I was expecting Arabeth. Some wet behind the ears. Well, let's see how you do. And suddenly there's goblins. Okay. Well, we got hurt, but we can kill these goblins at the end. I see other goblins. Alright, well, uh, let's make sure everyone's okay and kill all these goblins. Oh dear. Looks like these instructors passed away and didn't survive. Yeah, there's that instruction instructor. So much for the head of security. I wonder if anyone survived. Incidentally, you wait a minute or two and you'll be able to get items that were dropped. For Looks like the priest didn't survive. Yeah, goblins are very weak. I believe, incidentally, let me take a look here. What is the uh, difficulty on? It's normal. We're fine. Another potion of cure light wounds. I'll investigate in there, but for and go to save the creatures. But first, I gotta kill all these goblins. We've got an infestation. No! And we need to see if there's anyone who survived. It doesn't look like anyone survived here. Nope. There's those two mages. It looks like the third it looks like the instructor is gone though. Uh, oh no wait, he's there. He's just kind of merged with the ground a bit. Alright. Well, so much for that. Let's head into the combat hall. They're fighters. They should be able to have survived and it looks like they're dead. <laughs> Well, so much for that. And there's more goblins up there. Kill them! Looks like even the goblins weren't, sm weren't stupid enough to open up the, uh... 
the doors to the menagerie and unleash those horrible creatures. <laughs> On the plus side, we're getting small bits of coin out of all this. And little bits of experience, too. A healer's kit, if we decide to use it. Yeah, it looks like the librarian's dead. It's kind of expected. Is it quarterma nope, quartermaster's dead. Everyone's dead. Everyone. For honor and glory! Kill the rest of these little goblins. Some more coin. That one did drop things. Another healer's kit. I mean, I'm grabbing it, even though it's not really useful to me. Now, that's the last of them. We cleared out all the goblins we could find. Time to go deal with... Time to go get the water Davian creatures rescued while we can. What the hell? Drink that so we can... be at full health. Onwards! What? You survived? It matters not. You will die here! There is nothing you can do to stop us. Minions, attack! Great, more minions. More goblins. Ring of Fortitude. That's actually handy as it provides a bonus to one of our uh, saves. Saves are uh, basically something to that can help us survive against uh, certain things. Uh, specifically, there's wi fortitude, reflex, and skill. Fortitude affects how tough we are, reflex, how well we're able to dodge something, and will, our ability to survive mental effects. Pavel, you're alive! Thank the gods you're here. I thought those goblins were going to be the death of me. It's me, Pavel, remember? This whole place is crawling with enemies. They killed my brother, Bim. Please, Ken, you have to let me join up with you. Join up? Everybody needs help from someone once in a while. Someone with skills you don't have. Or sometimes you just need some extra muscle or magical firepower. That's why most towns have places you can go to hire a henchman to join up with you. When you talk to them, they'll be quick to offer their services for a fee. But I'm not asking you to pay me anything. I just want to join up with you so I can avenge Bim's death. And maybe get out of here alive. Okay, join up with me. I'll follow you and use my skills to help you out. If you ever want to give me more specific instructions, just speak to me. I'll change my tactics accordingly. I've got a mind of my own, but you're the one in charge. I'll need your help, too. If I get hurt, I might need you to help me. To heal me. If you can't cast healing spells, use a potion to heal me. Just drag one to me from your inventory, and I'll use it. Now let's get out of here. And with that, we have a companion. We can do a few things with him. Unable to view this companion's inventory. Ah, jeez, no, no! That was not supposed to happen. Go away. Okay, there we go. I got confused there for a minute. Book piles. Oh, there's a book here. The Origin of Magic. What the hell? Long ago, magic was more raw and potent than it is today. The great civilizations of the creator races were based on endless experimentation with these energies, and during their long rule as they created many new forms of life. The cruel and decadent creator races chose to release their monstrous mistakes rather than destroy them. Most died in the jungles, yet many lived and, as thought, awake, as thought awakened in them, they hid from their creators. When the end came at last, it was they, not the old races, who seized control of Faerun. And so it was that the first of the elves, the dragons, the goblin races, and an endless list of creatures of a new age took possession of their heritage. Their creators, the ancestors of the lizard folk, bullywugs, and arakora, 
Aracocra, declined into savage barbarism, never to rise again. Sages speculate about the overnight destruction of the creator races. There are wildly diverging theories, but all agree that a rapid climate change occurred, creating a world unsuitable to them. Many believe the change resulted from a cataclysm the races had unleashed upon themselves. Proponents of this theory point to the star mounts in the high forest, whose origins are most likely magical and otherworldly. The elves believe that around this time the greater and lesser ra races manifested themselves, aiding the new races and confounding the survivors of the creator races. There was civilization in the north during this time period, yet little more than tantalizingly vague myths survive. Well, at least Pavel was able to kill a few goblins. Go that way in a minute. Oh, wait, this is just a loop. Make this fight count! It will be your Let's Little help, go! please, Pavel. A tough goblin. There we go, that one's dead. did drop gloves of discipline yeah those gloves will help us uh, be more is help us improve our discipline skill a bit skeletons and another skeleton here okay thank you Pavel I don't think they really drop anything oh wait there's more Okay. Oh, more! There we go. Man, those skeletons really were weak. Wow. Room in here with, uh, no creatures, but there's a couple chests. Lesser Restoration. Restoration scrolls are the only scrolls that we, as fighters, can use. For the, rec for the record, what restoration is for, it's possible to have our abilities temporarily drained or damaged. Gloves of Spellcraft, those can be sold. And if that happens, we can, uh, we have to use restoration scrolls or the like in order to get it back. Alright, nothing else here. Let's move on. Another survivor. Oh wait, hold on, I saw some more goblins over here. For honor and glory! Let's go! And there we go. That's those dead. They drop anything? Any coins or the like? No. Well, someone else here happens to have survived. Many fierce enemies await you beyond this door. You will need to draw upon all you have learned here at the Academy to survive. You have gained much experience, Ken, but to put that experience to use, I must first teach you how to level up. Leveling up is how you gain access to greater hit points, skills, feats, and spells. I don't need you to teach me how, as I know how. We're going to level up in Fighter, and this enables us to improve our skills. I can't improve Persuade anymore, it can only be half of our level plus three plus one sort of so a point in lore a point in discipline and we can't use the uh, other remaining points so um I don't know if you keep I think you do keep it so we can choose another ability. As a fighter, we get to pick from certain other bonus abilities. And Cleave is what I'm getting. Cleave is a very good ability, especially when you're fighting low-level creatures. But just wait for the better one. And there we go. And we'll... You cannot rest while there are enemies nearby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> you gotta be damn it. Resting is needed to regain health. Oh, fine. Nothing in here. So let us continue. Got a room in here. There's some goblins. And that is what Cleave is. When you kill a creature on a round, 
can spin around and smack someone else. Right in the face. Very useful. And I do like it very much. Or spell scrolls, which are actually quite va very valuable. And since we can't use them, it's worth it to be able to sell them. I don't know if these tools have any value to them. Bull Strength Potion. That's handy. Let's us be a bit stronger. The Origin of Magic. We've already read that. And some coins. Oh. I think we checked these, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Alright. Can we rest now? No. But if we go back here, I think we'll be able to. There we go. Resting basically sits you down, and I think I mentioned it before, regains your uh, health, and also happens to uh, recover your spells and the like. You can do it at any time, but regardless. Moving on. Let's see, what's down here? More now skeletons. See what a true warrior looks like. Ah, I do love cleave. There we go. All right. Any Ooh, splint mail. This is very good. Oh, I can't put armor during combat. Combat's done. Equip it. Now we're tougher. Coins and a potion. And in here, another bookshelf. Helm's Hold. Less than a day's travel southeast of Neverwinter is Helm's Hold, a fortified monastery dedicated to the God of Guardians. It was founded around the middle 1340s DR, Dale Reckoning, by Dumal Arard, a retired member of the Company of Crazed Adventurers of Waterdeep. It has grown to a watchful community of over 700 faithful. The people here grow their own crops, herd their own cattle, dig deep wells for their own water, and patrol the area with vigilance. They will give shelter to any travelers beset or weakened by brigands or monsters. Hmm. And another potion in there. Alright. This way. More now see goblins. what a true warrior looks like. Let's go! Let's see what you've got! Excellent. Ale. That is literally just a drink that acts as beer. I have no reason to take it. It has virtually no value to it. This area seems to have been opened up by probably someone wandering around, so kill the goblins! There we go. Uthgar's Legacy. Uthgar is the legendary founder of the namesake of the Uthgar barbarians of the Savage Frontier. Some of their legends claim that he is the son of Beorunna, and others that he is descended from Tempus. All the legends agree that Uthgar was a proud, strong warrior who lived three times a normal human life. He ascended to watch over the Uthgard for all eternity after taking fatal wounds in a one-on-one -on -one battle with a frost giant named Gert. Uthgar mastered all the primeval beast skills in individual combat, passing down the divine gifts he gained from that mastery to his people, the Uthgard, at his death. The Uthgard tribes all follow a beast totem, representing one of the beasts that Uthgar bested. Historical evidence suggests that Uthgar was probably a Ruithim Northman named Uthgar, Uther Gar, Gardolfson. Uther led a long raiding career, including looting of fabled Illiskin, before founding his barbarian dynasty. No one denies that Uthgar or Uther did indeed ascend to divinity on his deathbed, sponsored by the god of war, who admired his fighting spirit. Yes, ascension is a thing that can happen. Alchemist apparatus. I think with this, it's possible to actually make potions. Cat's Grace gives us a boost to our dexterity when we use it. Another healer's kit. Another book, Helm's Hold. We've already read it. Potion of Bless. That's actually a useful spell potion. 
can provide us with extra attack and combat ab abilities. Not gonna go through there yet. Let's take a look at the room to the north. More goblins. Now see what a true warrior looks like. For honor and glory! Excellent. Uh, more ale? No, we don't need it. Bolts? No, we don't need it. They actually can't be sold because they have no value. Alright, all that leaves is a center room here. Dead goblin there. A chest here, but nothing else. Alright. Aha. The mysterious mage. Kill him! Don't let him kill us. And he's near death. Well, that mage was incredibly powerful. So much for that. Potion of bark skin. He didn't need another. Negative energy ray. And here we have some remains that we can get from him. Half plate! Uh, I can't bear this much weight and keep up. That's basically the second strongest armor there is. Unfortunately, now we're encumbered. We can only carry so much before... Well, we just can't carry any more. I think we may need to drop the chain shirt. I don't want to, because it does have value. Monetary value. But I guess we kind of have to. Which is unfortunate. Drop it to the floor. Sorry. Alright. And I'm going to have to end this episode here. Because it's gone on long enough. Next episode we'll head into the stables. Hopefully we'll find the Water Davian creatures and manage to save them. Keep them from these... Whoever they are who are trying to take them. That'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44. That is, that is... This has been a Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights. That is uh, Ken Daniels. And I shall see you all next time.